Hello everybody, we're going to discuss a few painting techniques, specifically how to create clean edges or clean lines, and talk a little bit about how to apply painting onto a surface. This is a very basic lesson on painting. So the first thing you'd like to have is your palette. I have here a gray paper palette. I have some paper towels here to blot uh, excess water from my brushes and then of course a painting surface. I also have some acrylic paint, but this, what I'm talking, what I'm gonna be talking about today can be applicable to any kind of painting, uh, whether it's acrylic or oils. Because I'm working with oils, I also have a retarder additive for acrylic paint, and I like to keep a few drops here on the edge just to create some uh, add onto my paintings. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you is that I have a variety, a selection of brushes here. Some of them have been gentler with them than others. So for example, this one here, all the bristles are separated. This is not the best brush. Um, or a newer brush that I've kept very, very clean or this one that has good use, uh, but notice how all the brushes, I mean, all the bristles have been kept together. Uh, so I'd like to wet my brush just a little bit, just a tip, hopefully this will bring all of the bristles uh, together. Ah, not so much, this is not the best brush, but let's demonstrate what brushes do in uh, this case. So one of the first thing that I'd like to do is just to dip the tip of my brush and then blot the excess before I pick up any paint. I'm gonna add maybe a drop or so of retarder so that my paint doesn't dry so quickly. And I'm going to apply paint in the direction, towards me in the direction of the bristles. Now, when you start painting, one thing that you want to do is just keep enough amount on the brush. Try to keep it towards the tip of the brush and not towards the ferrule, the metal, metal part, so that way you can have the cleanest edges. I'm working on Yupo. Yupo is highly, highly um, non, it, it's basically non-porous, so it's not going to absorb any paint, so my brush work is going to be more noticeable. Now, what if, for example, I was a little bit uh, rougher with my brushes. I wouldn't be able to have these clean edges because say if I was picking up some paint and I was just pushing down, you know, I mean, unless you want to create some texture, right? And just go up and down but that's basically going to um, damage your brush so be gentle with your brushes so you want to keep your brushes together keep the bristles together and as soon as you can notice the bristles this is when you need to pick up either pick up more paint or you can also turn around your brush in order to apply whatever paint remains on the other side. Notice that if I change directions of the brush, I'm also changing the way so I don't damage, you know, I go into the direction of the brushes, how they go up or down. Um, also, I'm actually applying a gentle pressure. I'm not applying force like so and this is a very common problem that I see with beginner painters is just not having enough painting to uh, create a, a, a line a shape etc so one thing that I'd like for you to do is just to pick up enough paint in there and move your brush towards you or away, but then lean your brush in order to make the brush do its job in a more precise way. 
The other thing that I wanted to touch on today, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the excess so my brush doesn't dry completely. I don't want my brushes to dry with acrylic paint because that will absolutely destroy them. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that I really like flat brushes such as this one because it's almost like you have two brushes in one. What do I mean by that? Well, it's let me just blot here, take out a little bit of the excess, blot here. In a sense, you can do, you have two brushes in one because you can have a fine brush. If you hold your brush sideways, or you can have the full bristle flat brush working towards you. So see, we can have very very distinct um, forms or shapes um, making them with a flat brush instead of, for example, a round brush, which is always going to give you the same uh, width. Now let's take a look at, let's work with this particular brush here that wasn't in very good shape. Let's see what it does. Oh, well, it's kind of doing its job. Okay, do you see that? How I'm starting to see the bristles there? That means that I need to apply a little bit more paint. And again, I'm not flushing my brush completely. I'm just lifting a little bit, letting the tip of the brush do the work. I am not pushing the brush down. I'm actually allowing for the brush to be lifted. And then depending on how much pressure you add, you can actually vary the width of it. And this is also possible because it's a very long bristle brush. All right. So let's talk a little bit about blending. So remember, some brushes just tend to be very porous and take, especially the large ones, and take in a lot of water. So you wanna make sure that you blot your brush before you pick up some paint. Just water just the tip of it, and that way you can be more in control of the brush. You can mix your brushes, or you can start mixing paint in your palette so let's take a little bit of this white and we can mix it here. I'm using Payne's Gray, which it has this beautiful deep blue um, tone. And I'm creating a very cool gray here. So I prefer that you start by mixing your paint on the palette, however, Sometimes some artists, and especially the most expressive ones of you, actually will tend to mix paint directly on the, onto the canvas or onto the painting surface, which is totally okay as well. But for the first time, if you're doing this for the first time, make sure to mix on your palette so that you can have different tones and different tints, shades, etc., before you start painting. Another example here. Okay. So always make sure to wash your brushes after each session and don't let acrylic paint dry onto your brushes. Well, any paint for that matter. Always keep your brushes clean in order for them to last you a very long time. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you.